Super Bowl 32 featured one team that had never won a Super Bowl and another that had never lost one. Head coach Mike Holmgren's Green Bay Packers were defending world champions, quarterback by three-time NFL MVP Brett Favre, and overwhelming favorites to repeat. Favre's counterpart was 37-year-old John Elway, a 15-year veteran with more fourth-quarter comebacks and more victories than any quarterback in history. There were also three devastating Super Bowl losses, but thanks to Denver's head coach Mike Shanahan, Elway finally had a supporting cast with talent and determination equal to his. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Two great teams playing the last one here. Then we go on the lap. The result would be the greatest Super Bowl yet. First sound, the alert for blitz. First sound now, green right, 24 double go, first sound, ready? Green Bay demonstrated oh, why it was favored to win Super Bowl 32 on the game's oh, first series. <laughs> Keyed by the running of number 25, Dorsey Levens, and the passing of Brett Favre, the Packers needed only eight plays and barely four minutes to move 76 yards and score the game's first touchdown. Here's Brett going to the end zone. Back there is Antonio Freeman. Touchdown, Packers! Antonio Freeman on an absolutely gorgeous throw by Brett Favre. That's all right, let's go, let's go. Denver right. responded to Green Bay's challenge on its first possession by taking control of the line of scrimmage. Davis, outside the 40, go. 35, there 40, TD down the sideline, inside the there 25, go. going go. speed, inside the go. 20, inside the 15, yeah. first down Denver, a run of 26 yards. Though they were outweighed up front by nearly 15 pounds per man, Denver's offensive lineman led the Broncos on a 10-play, 58-yard march. And John Elway proved that while age may slow a man down, come on, John, come on. Determination can still get you a first down. Let's go! For the first time in Super Bowl history, each team scored on its initial possession. Elway, handoff, Davis in the end zone, touchdown! It wouldn't be the last time Denver responded to a Green Bay challenge. Yeah, he just threw it, man. I'm telling you. Hey, God, you're going to come down with one now. I'm coming. Even on Green Bay's scoring drive, Denver's defense had shown it could pressure far with the blitz. On the Packers' second possession, this pressure produced the game's first turnover. Here comes Gordon, Favre on lows. Pass is going to be intercepted. Rex oh, the on one knee. 18 pitch. Ignited by the game's first break, Terrell Davis turned up the pressure on the Packers' defense. The Broncos had no tricks up their sleeves. They came to smash some mouths, and they did. But as the first quarter wound down, the Broncos lost the engine that powered their offense. And I think Davis may be shaken up. Terrell Davis is on both knees at about the seven yard line. Yeah, this would be costly for the Broncos. Let's see how he is. He's just he's a little woozy. Okay, we'll just wait. Let's go back a little bit, all right? How are you? Let me know. I'm cool, man. Let's get a little more water. As the second quarter began, Denver's offense faced third down at the Packers' one-yard line. What's that? Can't see. Okay, just do this. You don't worry about seeing on this place because we're going to fake it to you, the 15 lead. But if you're not in there, they won't believe we're going to run. Okay? Terrell Davis courageously went from feature back to all-pro decoy as his play fake opened an uncontested path for John Elway. That's the old John Elway that's 
been doing it for 100 years. He saw that goal out and he went for it. Vintage John Elway there, and the 37-year-old making it happen with his legs. Right. Leading 14 to 7, Denver's aggressive defense continued its assault on the NFL's MVP. Luka stands up, blitzes on his way. Atwater's got five! Ball free! Ball free! Yeah! Our ball. That should be the Broncos' ball! Yes, sir! Denver has it! Neil Smith's alert recovery of Steve Atwater's forced fumble put the Broncos at the Packers' 33. The biggest question now is where's Terrell? He's got a migraine going. He can't see right now. We got the medication in him, and he should come back real quick. Initially diagnosed as a concussion, Davis was suffering from a migraine headache. It's going to be about 15 minutes before he comes back. It takes a little bit for that to come back. He just can't see right now. Without their all-pro running back, Denver didn't gain a yard rushing or secure a first down in the second quarter. However, Denver did manage to increase its lead to 10 points as Jason Elam kicked the second longest field goal in Super Bowl history. Does it have the distance? It's on its way, and it is good! Good from 51! So Denver has converted two Green Bay turnovers into 10 points here in the first half. The Broncos have a 17-7 lead. How's he doing? How you doing? Why don't you go in? Why don't you go in for the half, relax a little bit? We'll do it after the half either way. Though Davis's return was in question, Denver had certainly gotten the attention of the defending world champions. I tell you what, some stunned people on that Green Bay sideline. Sit down for a second, I'll say something. We are playing the Indianapolis Colts. We're playing the Indianapolis Colts right now. This team is not better than us. They're not even good. And we're letting them, we let them do that thing off. We you have to be never sitting in the ground. Look, when you get back in the game, man, we got to gotta make a statement, man. We got to make a statement. We got to bust these dudes in the mouth. Bust them in the mouth. Bust them in the mouth. They ain't nothing but smash mouth football here. Knock their ass off. Let's go. Let's go. Green right, 92 lead on one. Ready? Let's go. Look at that. Broncos got the Packers backed up on the four-yard line. Third down and nine for the Packers. Blue 58. Check Brad over! Brad Olsen! Brett needs a big play right here. He's back in the end zone. Here they come. Here he goes up field. Great, oh, great shot. Holy What a play by Chimera. Blue 57. In the final seven minutes of the half, the Packers finally started performing like defending world champions. In the face of heavy pressure, Favre drove Green Bay 95 yards just before halftime. And the Packers bring it up there with 22. Hurry up, hurry up, blue 58! Brett up to the line of scrimmage. Blue 58! Pack goes Brett to throw it. Brett pumping. Brett to the end zone. Touchdown by the Packers. <laughs> Caught in the end zone by Chimura at the deep right corner and a little lofted pass by Brett Ball. Oh, what a touch by Brett, Jim. Chimura behind them back there, but a couple of guys between the ball and Brett, and Brett lobbed it over. Chimura came down with it. That's a 95-yard drive by the Green Bay Packers. It had become clear that to be the champions, the Broncos would have to beat the champions in the final 30 minutes of Super Bowl 32. Let's go, guys. Got a lot of football to play. Let's go. The return of Terrell Davis renewed Denver's confidence as the third quarter began. Let's go. Let's drag it up. World Championship. 30 minutes. Let's go red left F short. 19 Bob King on it. 17-14. The Broncos have the lead. I bet you they slip it to Davis on the first play. Just yeah, to check him out. Play action fake right off the bat. Man in motion is Howard Griffin to the left side. And the pitch goes back to Davis. Through the line. Gets a couple of yards. Maybe three or four. Lost Bumble. the ball. Down about the 27-yard line. The Packers be. have the ball at the 27-yard line. 
first turnover by the Broncos. Let's see if the Denver defense can hang on here. 98, hand on solid, green right. Despite the turnover, Denver's defense forced the Packers to settle for a 27-yard Ryan Longwell field goal. Now tied at 17, the Packers hoped they had seen the last of Denver's all-pro runner. He's scared, fellas. He got a concussion. He's scared to run the ball. He ain't running hard no more. He ain't gonna run hard no more. He's scared. They out the game. They take him out. They gotta take Davis out. Man. However, Davis proved that he could take a licking and, with the help of the NFL's best offensive line, keep on ticking. He, he was sitting right there. Press, press, press. Boom! Right up there. We got the big guy on skates. Red 98. Red 98. From its own eight, Denver's offense took control and began dominating the supposedly more physical Packers. As the Broncos gained momentum, Mike Shanahan crossed up the Packers. Okay, uh, eight to two, all go, near left slot. Offset eye behind Elway, who will turn. Play fake in the pocket. John pats it once, lets it go wide open. McCaffrey inside the 40. Eddie Mack inside the 35. Excellent protection and a fine throw by John Elway. 31 yards on the play. Two plays later, however, Denver faced third and six from the Packers' 12-yard line. Packers jumping around. They rush four. Plenty of time for John. Now squeezes, steps up in the pocket. Elway can run. Come on, John. Come on. Come on. Inside the 10. First and goal, a gain of eight. He wanted that first down. And I tell you what, if you want to tell me the 37-year-old man doesn't want to win this game, that's a sacrifice. Oh, man. John Elway's daredevil leap was the defining moment of Super Bowl 32 because it mirrored the sacrifice and toughness that it would take to win this game. The greatest eight-yard run in Super Bowl history by John Elway on third down. Elway established the attitude the Broncos needed. Then, Davis pounded the point home. Davis to the end zone. Touchdown, Denver! That was a 93-yard drive. Davis with the salute. For the first time in five Super Bowl appearances, the Denver Broncos held a lead late in the third quarter. On the kickoff, Denver's special teams nearly broke the game wide open. This will be Freeman at the 9. To the 15, 20, cuts back to the left side and loses yard. Ball free, fumble! Yeah! Yeah! Broncos have it! Denver has the football! I think Phelan made the hit and Tim McKire comes up with the ball. Denver has it at the Packer 22. But as quickly as it appeared, Denver's momentum vanished in a risky attempt to cash in quickly on the turnover. Back over the middle, intercepted! Eugene Robinson! By Eugene Robinson in the end zone, he's coming out on the run! Eugene to the 15-yard line, and what a play! What a big play by Eugene Robinson, and what a mistake by John Elway! Eagle, three jets got the option. On the final play of the third quarter, a 27-yard completion to Antonio Freeman ignited the world champions. The most exciting Super Bowl ever played was far from over. Eagle G, two tilt. As the fourth quarter of Super Bowl 32 began, the Packers were looking to tie the score. Stay in here. Blue 58, double, double, double. Blue 58, double. Despite Denver's relentless assault, Green Bay traveled 85 yards in only five plays to tie the game. First down of the 13-yard line for Brett Favre. Favre with two running backs. Now Favre straight back in the pocket looking at that arm. Touchdown for the Packers to Freeman. 
Manning throws the ball hard. While Favre had delivered in the clutch, Denver's pressure defense kept him out of rhythm the rest of the fourth quarter. Frustrated and unable to improvise some badly needed big plays, Favre watched Denver take possession late in the fourth quarter. Denver, three minutes and 27 seconds away from sending the Mile High City about a mile high. If they can score, let's go strong right slot, C left, 19 toss. Elway trots out into the field. Well, I tell you what, you got a guy that's going to go to the Hall of Fame and number seven who's done this, according to the Broncos, 44 times in his career. None bigger than this situation. Okay, we got what we want. Perfect. We got exactly what we're outside. We've never had overtime in go. Super Bowl history. This drive would begin at Green Bay's 49-yard line. Toss left side Davis. Davis hit behind the line of scrimmage, still on his feet. Penalty flags thrown on the play. A face mask penalty gave the Broncos the first 15 yards. <laughs> However, Denver's punishing offense simply took the rest. Play fake, Elway, rolls left, fires, wide open, Griffin, inside the 25, gets a block, inside the 15, Griffin, oh. inside the 10-yard line. Oh, 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 my! I'm going to tell you what, Brian Williams, that's Ed McCaffrey that just tattooed you on your back and allowed that thing to go down another 15 yards. Denver has a first and goal from the Packer 8 with two minutes left in the Super Bowl. Not even a holding call that pushed the Broncos back to the 18-yard line could save the weary Packers. Hand off Davis, left side behind Howard Griffith. Nice hold, Davis, 10, 10, go, 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 Davis, there you go. Did he get in? No, he's out at the one-yard line. TD to the one. Hey, we got to do it. Box three run, John. John, you want to move, Coach? Uh, what's that? Strong right tight, zoom F left. If not, we stay in high right and go Fox 3, high right tight. They're in base, high right tight, Fox 3 run. Come on, Chief. Red left, red left. Fox 3 run, on one, right? The Broncos found themselves one yard and one minute 47 seconds away from their first Super Bowl victory. And the hearts are pounding in Denver. Nobody but Terrell here. Elway, long count. Davis, it is a rocky stand. They could have drove two trucks and Gilbert through that hole. The reason the hole was so large was because the Packers had been instructed by head coach Mike Holmgren to let the Broncos score. The idea was to get the ball back with enough time for Brett Favre to retaliate and force overtime. This gamble would be played out with the NFL championship at stake. Let's go kickoff coverage. Play like you always do. A lot of blood. Yeah, whatever you would do. Five had the football, time on the clock, and 70 yards to travel. Red right slot, 24 Dino, halfback slow screen left on one, right? Halfback slow screen left. Luke Fatista. First down at the 30 yard line for Brett Favre. It's his own 30. Brett straight back in a pocket. Looks. They dump it over the middle to Dorsey Levins on a middle screen. Dorsey to the 40, 45, to midfield, to the 48 yard line. But after streaking to the Denver 31, the pack began misfiring. Then they started running out of downs. Third and six. One time, 31 yard line. Packers with 36 yeah. seconds to go. Will they bring pressure? Here they come. Barb. Pass over the middle is going to be incomplete. Atwater with the big time hit of Robert Brooks. Oh. Now only one play from the championship. The Broncos had paid a high price. We got three guys out. Atwater, Hillier, and Crockett. 38 years without a championship in football has come down to one play. Somebody make a play. Somebody make a play. Fourth and six with 32 seconds to go. This is it. One play. Come on. 
to the championship. Fourth and six for the 31. Blitz is on. Farm hit as he throws. Pass is going to be incomplete. Denver has. Denver's going to win it. Oh, baby, they're going to win this thing. Are you kidding me? Go ahead and salute it, Denver. You got the world champions. The Broncos have done it. They have shocked everybody, and they have won Super Bowl. It took a dramatic 31 to 24 victory by the Denver Broncos to end the Green Bay Packers dream of a second straight championship. Thanks, Mike. Great season. Thanks. You too. Great game. Great season. Thank you. For the first time in five Super Bowl appearances, the Broncos shed not tears of disappointment, but tears of joy. With 157 yards and a Super Bowl record, three rushing touchdowns, Terrell Davis was the game's most valuable player. Most inspirational went to John Elway. I'm so proud of you. You know how, you know how good that nice little ring's gonna look on your finger? This one's for John. in NFL history has won more games or produced more fourth quarter magic than John Elway. But on a day when his teammates carried him instead of the other way around, number seven achieved the only distinction he ever really wanted, world champion.